firing of National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, President Trump has signaled he's got no plans to move against his attorney general, despite all the news today. Just a short time ago, the president released this statement, quote, Jeff Sessions is an honest man. He did not say anything wrong. He could have stated his response more accurately, but it was clearly not intentional. This whole narrative is a way of saving face for Democrats losing an election that everyone thought they were supposed to win. The Democrats are overplaying their hand. They lost the election, and now they've lost their grip on reality. The real story is all of the illegal leaks of classified and other information. It is a total witch hunt. Well, that statement has not satisfied Democrats, of course. Congressman David Cicilline is a Democrat representing the state of Rhode Island. He serves on both the House Judiciary and Foreign Affairs Committee, and he tweeted this today. If the Attorney General lied under oath, he must resign and then face the consequences for committing perjury. Congressman Cicilline joins us now. Congressman, thanks for coming on. Perjury, that, that Great seems Great to be like, on with you again. Thank you. It's good to see you. That, it seems like maybe you're getting a little ahead of the story if you're already mentioning perjury. No, look, uh, I think what we learned today uh, in the last 48 hours is very disturbing. The Attorney General of the United States testified before the American people and before a Senate committee and gave false testimony. He said that he did not meet with Russian officials during the course of the campaign. We now know that that is not true. Uh, he had two months from the time he gave that testimony to correct the record. He did not. I think it's very, very concerning. This is the top law enforcement official of the United States. Right. We hold him to a very different standard than an ordinary citizen. He's responsible for prosecuting people for crimes all across America. I think it is impossible for him to continue in that position, having testified under oath falsely. Uh, and I think it's uh, so, in service to our country. He should step down. I, I think that's in the best interest of the United States and should be treated like any other person who offers false testimony. Right. And wherever that takes it, it takes it. So you, just to be totally clear, your standard is if the attorney general says something in Congress, it turns out not to be true, he needs to resign and face perjury charges, A. And B, you don't buy the attorney general's explanation that he believed that Senator Franken was referring to his capacity as a campaign advisor. No. I, 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 first of all, I don't think that that's credible. This is the, okay. uh, there has been information released by 17 intelligence agencies of the United States that came to the conclusion that the, foreign, uh, that the Russian government interfered with the American presidential election for the express purpose of helping Donald Trump. There have been now four officials from the Trump campaign that have left service of uh, President Trump because of their ties to Russian officials. And it's in that context that that question was asked. The notion that he's the only one of 26 members of the Senate Armed Service Committee that met with the Russian ambassador, the only one. And the fact that he originally said, I don't remember such a conversation, said that last night. Then he remembered today his press conference some of the details. I mean, th this is just not credible. But the reality is, when he gave that testimony, under oath, it was not true. Okay, so if he that's the standard, months, I mean, as you said in your, and as you said in the question, you asked a very important question to the Attorney General. He had two months to correct that. He didn't. And look, this is not an ordinary. Well, but hold on, wait. I, I, I think it's a look. I think it's a fair question. Law enforcement you, hold on, in the country. Slow down. Hold on. You heard my interview. Absolutely. I thought I raised yep. real questions. You but did. I'm just interested in the standard you're setting. I mean, I've been in Washington since childhood long enough to remember May of 2013 when the then Attorney General Eric Holder said in public, I had nothing to do with surveillance of reporters who might be involved in writing critical stories on the administration. He said that, and it turned out to be a lie. And Congress had a vote on censoring him, and you, uh, and you walked out of that vote. And I just wonder, no, I mean, Tucker, that is a very clear double standard. Tucker, There's no question no, that he lied. A, he admitted he lied. And no, you I, I don't were not think, I don't, willing I don't to stand up and be counted. That is absolutely is not the case. You have the Attorney General of the United States in this case. No, no. It is true. Testifying I was there. to the American people and testifying to his colleagues in the Senate that he did not meet with Russian officials when he did. And the reality is that, it seems to me, disqualifies him from maintaining a position as Attorney okay. General of the okay. United so, States. Look, look, this is, again, in the context, by the way, just let me finish. Okay, you're this not going to answer context, my question, have A very obviously. serious question right. about the integrity of our American presidential elections. What, what's alarming to you me know is what? that You know what? I don't think I can are, sit through. Look, not, I'm gonna, if you're going to give that lecture, I have to ask very specific questions. Here's what they are. No, I'm, How I'm not exactly, giving you a lecture, no, but I, because I've gotten this lecture a thousand times. Raises questions the integrity of our democracy. How exactly are you, how specifically... Are you alleging that the Russian government influenced the outcome of the election? You raised this question, well, and no, you're implying it's, it's actually, it. I want I'm you not to state, alleging what are you it, Tucker. About? The, uh, te 17 intelligence agencies of the United States. And how States. exactly did they These say Russian? Okay, since, since you've read their reports, me, how exactly the did they say let, they I did influenced read it, so the let outcome? Let me finish. 
let, let me finish the answer. I'm happy to answer. They document a very sophisticated campaign at the direction of Vladimir Putin that included fake news, online uh, blogging, uh, the, the hacking of the DNC, the release of emails. A very sophisticated campaign with one sound express very purpose sophisticated, but to you're... undermine the Democratic presidential candidate and, and to let Donald work. Trump. That's did not my work? conclusion. That's my... No, no, look. Let's not shout look. over each other. I've got a simple question. Is there any evidence? that any of those efforts, which have been going on, by the way, since 1920, the Russian government's always tried to influence our elections, and they always probably will. Is there any evidence at all, and if you have it, please state it, that those efforts resulted in any change in the outcome at all? Do you have any evidence well, we of don't, that? We don't know that because it had Is to do with evidence? changing the voters' perception. But there's evidence that they hacked into our election process. What we'll never know that. What do you which mean they hacked in? Did they break into president. voting machines? What do you mean they hacked they, in? No, no, it's, no, no. They hacked into our system where they released emails, where they broke into the DNC, where they did online blogging, fake news. Those things presumably well, affected some blogging. voters' judgment. Should that be illegal? But the reality is, they, but they did about? online fake... They wrote no, things you don't like. Did you read That's the report? Yes. So the point is, of course they had some influence on voters, but the reality is Donald Trump is our president. Hillary Clinton lost the election. I know he's our president because I was there when he was sworn in. That's the reality. But that doesn't change the fact that the Attorney General of the United States should not testify okay. before but, a Senate committee and before the American people falsely okay. I got, and I remain got, in that here's, position. I just want to throw this at you because I think we're probably on the same side on this. Today you had two Democratic senators suggest that we were now in a state of war with Russia. Jean Shaheen, she said this was an mm. act of war. Senator Ben Card to Maryland, quote, it was an attack on our country. Where's this going? There seems to be, these are drumbeats for war against Russia. I cannot believe you are for that. I don't think most Americans are for it. Reassure no, me look, now, I, when you have I, U.S. senators saying things like that, Americans what are they talking are for about? That. No, I mean, I think what they're talking about is, look, Russia has been engaged in efforts all across the world to undermine Western liberal democracies. You see it in France, you see it in Brexit. So you, in Brexit? you know, that's happening. This happened wait, wait. in America. They're behind and Brexit, so what we too? Have to, no, no, I didn't say they're behind Brexit. I said Russia has been involved in elections all across Europe to underline Western liberal democracy. We should take this very seriously. It's not just a Democratic issue. We have a lot of fine Republicans, okay. Senator Graham, Senator McCain, who have yeah. raised this issue. I'm, this is about we're, protecting we're gonna, I'm sorry, we're out of time, but I want to come American back and I want to explore how the Russians are responsible for Brexit and Marine Le Pen. And I hope no, you no, will No, I didn't say they're back. responsible for Brexit. I'd love to come back, though. Okay. Thanks, Congressman. Appreciate it. Thanks.